Hi everyone! In this short video I will show you how to transfer data from an Android device into the iPhone 16e. First turn on your iPhone. Long press the side button until you see the logo. On this screen select your language and on the next screen select your region. If your phone has a SIM card, enter the PIN code. If you don't want to enter it now, tap the skip button. On the next screen, select how the icons and text will show up on your phone. Because we are transferring data from an Android device, select the setup without another device button. On the next screen you can customize the written and spoken languages. Now tap on the setup later in settings button. On the next screen set up your Wi-Fi. The next screen is about data privacy, tap continue. On this screen select the setup for myself button. In this screen you can set up face ID. You will need to enter a passcode. This is the most important screen. Here, select the transfer from Android button. In the corner, you will find a button. Tap this button. It is very important that you download the official app we will use from here. Now take your Android phone, open the camera app and scan the code. As you can see, it opens the official Apple Google Play account. Download the Move to iOS app from here. Once again, use only the official Apple app to transfer your data. After the app is downloaded, open it. Accept the terms and conditions. Tap continue. Now select agree. On this screen, decide whether to share your data for analytics. The next screen is for app location permissions. As it states here, you must grant this permission to transfer your data. On this screen, you can select whether to transfer data via cable or Wi-Fi. I select the Wi-Fi. On your Android device, Tap the iPhone button and on your iPhone tap the continue button. Enter the code shown on your iPhone on your Android device. This is another important screen. Here select the items you want to transfer such as messages, contacts and so on. I will select everything. You will need to grant permission for each item individually. At the end, tap the continue button. For me, the process finished quickly because I don't have much data on my Android phone. It may take much longer for you. Now sign in with an Apple ID. If you don't have one, tap on this button and create an Apple ID. If you already have an Apple ID, sign into your account. Since I have multiple iOS devices, I received a verification code, which I had to enter here. If you don't receive one, you may get a text message or have the code sent to your email. I also had to enter the passcode of one of my phones. On this screen, tap continue.
then tap continue again. Decide whether to share your data for development purposes. That's it, we are done. It looks like the apps and contacts have been transferred. That's it, we are done. At the end of my video, let me ask you a small favor. As you can see, most of my viewers are not subscribed. If you find my video helpful, please take a second to give a like and click on the subscribe button to help my videos reach more people. Thank you and see you in the next one.